This is Mark Belton, Super Training TV, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. We're gonna go over how to bench. Everyone always asks how much you bench. So we're gonna go over the proper way to bench press from head to toe. I got my boy Silent Mike here. He's gonna do some demos. Got my boy Maddie McMatterson, otherwise known as Dick Lickerson, doing some lift offs over there. Uh, first thing you're gonna notice is that we like to get into a routine. Each person's gonna kind of have their own routine but you want to develop a routine so that this becomes, so it's not foreign to you. So it's something that you do all the time. You want to set up the same way each and every time. First thing I like to do is lay down on the bench. I like to lay completely flat. So this would be the worst position to bench from. This would be the worst position for you to bench press from. Okay, so now what he's going to do, he's going to grab the bar. There's a bunch of different ways to do this. We'll show it this way. I'll show you another way in a second. He's got his feet up on the bench. Now he's tucking his shoulder blades underneath him. Now he's gonna put his legs down. We'll have him do that one more time. Because how you start is gonna be how you finish. The way that you start, the way that you set up is gonna be the most crucial part of all this. We've seen people get 20 and 30 pound increases on their bench once they just simply get the setup down. So here's Mike, he's gonna do the setup again. Getting those shoulder blades back. Now he's gonna put his feet down. The key to putting your feet down right there is to make sure you do it carefully and make sure you don't unwind any of this stuff you got going on here. Shoulder blades are back. It's got the rib cage up. Kneecaps are below the hips. And he's got good foot positioning here. You always want to have your knee below the hip. That tells me that your sternum and that your chesticles are up in the air. And also he's benching with a small weenus here, which is a little bit of a disadvantage for him, but you know, everyone's got their own, their own setbacks, right? So I'm going to show you another way to bench press here. He's going to get totally flat, feet off the bench. Okay, so now he's going to put his hands underneath and he's going to put his shoulder blades in his back pocket there. Try to drive the shoulder blades down towards the hips. If you can do it one more time, a real uh, crucial part of this is that you don't move your lower body too much. You don't move your feet really at all. So find a good spot for your feet. Find a good spot for your feet. Keep them there. Grab the barbell, you can see if you look over top here, Mike's got the barbell is in line with his double chin or his throat here, okay? Now he's gonna pick himself up and he's gonna place himself on this side of the barbell. Now his eyes are kind of level with where the barbell is. I get that question a lot. If you're gonna unrack for yourself, you don't have any friends, you don't have a spotter, you're gonna have to scoot that way a little bit more. But for us, we like to have this over our eyes. That will ensure that we never hit the rack. If you're hitting the rack, then you're benching uh, the wrong way. So you want to always make sure you set up properly, set up low enough. So now he's ready to bench press, okay? We're going to have Dick Lickerson do a handoff here. A uh, proper liftoff technique is up and out just a little bit, okay? Two, three, go. Got a little bit of a rhythm there. He's going to start bench pressing. Keeping the legs tight throughout the range of motion here. He's going to perform two more reps. It's at the end of our workout, so he might be a little shaky right here. Last one. Sit up now. Something that we're trying to do with the bar path is we're trying to have Mike hit just a little bit below the breasticles right here. See the nippies here? You see how hard they are? I don't know why they're like that right now, to be honest with you. Uh, but you're going to try to get towards the rib cage a little bit. Each person is going to want to place the bar in a slightly different spot. Some people might want to bring the bar slightly higher than that. But for him, it's going to be right about here where the athlete thing is, maybe just a little bit lower than that. As he brings the weight up, he's going to want to drive the weight up and drive his elbows outward. So on the way down, you're trying to bend the barbell. You're trying to bring your elbows in slightly. As you're coming down, as you're coming back up, you're trying to pull the bar apart. And you're trying to force your elbows outward. We're going to have Mike do another set of three reps right here. He's going to pause each one of these on the chest. Something you can do if you're really struggling with a technique and you're unsure of what the hell to do, or if you're a coach out there and you're working with somebody who's just all over the place in the bench press, simply have them pause it on their chest and they, they move the weight every time you say press. So that's what we're gonna do here. Listen to me say press, press. Notice the weight's going up and back each time. Press, there you go, good, one more. Up and back, press, there you go, good. That's the exact rhythm that you wanna have. You'll sometimes hear people say to use your lats in a bench press. Uh, that can sometimes be very complicated. It can be a little bit difficult to learn. I can show you a maneuver that'll help uh, teach that. But one of the things we're trying to do, stick your arm out like you're gonna bench press. As we're coming down, 
this is a weird way to think about things. This is my twisted way of thinking, thinking about things. I feel like when I'm coming down in the bench press that I'm sucking the power out of the entire room. Each and every person that's in the room, I'm sucking the energy just right out of them. I'm gathering strength as I'm bringing the weight down, sucking it out of them. You like that? What that's are you, next men? That's for you, Omar. As you're bringing the weight down, you're trying to gather strength, trying to gather tightness. So when I was uh, lifting uh, 556 is my best raw bench press in a contest, 854 is my best equipped bench. When I was uh, mastering those lifts, when I was feeling really good with those lifts, I felt my best in the most vulnerable position, which is all the way down in your chest. So as you're coming down, you should be gathering strength to hear people say, use your lats. Really, you're just trying to use your entire body, not just your lats, not just your pecs or shoulders, you're trying to use your entire body. The way you're gonna do it is by keeping your legs tight, uh, keeping your shoulder blades back, and by bringing your elbows in slightly at the bottom and then throwing them out explosively. I'm gonna show you a movement right now. I'm just gonna lay back on the bench with a slingshot on. Hold on. We're just gonna put one on that's a little bit big so it can fit over those huge guns it is. Why are those guns so big? 15 and a half. Who would have known three times a day would do a whole lot for you? So as he lays back here, He's gonna get his hands out a little bit wider than normal, just so he gets a little stretch of the slang shot. And as he comes down with the weight, he's gonna push into the material hard, okay? He's gonna pause on his chest again. He's gonna actually flex his back at the bottom of the slip. He's gonna pause down there for a little bit. Press! Okay, stay down there again. Press! You can see him tightening up the lats at the bottom of the lift here. Mike is very puny, he doesn't have very big lats, but you can still see him flexing those lats as he's coming back up. Okay, one more. Press. Ready to rack it. Now you can have the same athlete pull the slingshot off, give him a couple seconds rest, and you're gonna see him activate the lats in the same way. Basically, you know, don't try to confuse yourself. Again, all you're trying to do is take the bench press, which is an upper body movement, and you're just trying to put your entire body into it. Every ounce of energy you have into pressing the weight. The way you're going to do it is to keep everything stable. You're going to do it again. One, two, three, up. Pull that weight down and in. Gather the strength. Press. There you go. Good. Up and back. One more. Press. Good. Starting to slow down a little bit. We got one more technique to go over before we close this out. I know this is long-winded, but I know a thing or two about a thing or two, and I know about bench pressing, so we're going to cover all areas here. Leaves no stone unturned in your training. This is called a man pond. I don't know why, but that's what it's called. Um, we're gonna have Mike put this device on his chest here, his chesticles. He's gonna lower the weight down to the pad. As he lowers the weight down to the pad, he's gonna squeeze into it and then throw the weight up. That's what you're gonna wanna do when you're learning how to do a, a heavy raw bench press. Not so much for uh, the shirted athletes out there, but this is more for a raw guy. And if you ain't got a man pond? I don't know what you do. Maybe grab a, a foam roller. Foam. Yeah, grab a chunk of foam, something disgusting like this. A shoe, grab Nickerson's underwear and roll it up 20 times. The fat guy's gut. What are they, 54s? They stinky. Yeah, they stinky. So, Mike's starting to get a little tired here, but we're still going to make him do about five repetitions. Again, not only sink into the pad, but pull through the pad, okay? Some man pond pressing Release. here. There you go, good. Sink it and pull it. Yep, there you go, good, yep. Good, there's about two more. Good, last one. Good. So notice on that last repetition, things are starting to get difficult, things are starting to get hard. And he had, to, he had to take his breath, he had to get himself tight, he had to get himself right before he started bringing that weight down. I would suggest that you wear a belt, I would suggest that you wear wrist wraps. Uh, also, you might want to try to wear an Olympic lifting shoe, something with an elevated heel, you can see here. Anything with an elevated heel, uh, he used to wear work boots. <laughs> which is a little funny <laughs> work boots and underwear is a great combination um, but an Olympic lifting shoe uh, in my opinion is a great way to uh, help you keep your uh, your legs stable on a bench press that's all the information on bench pressing and that is it from supertraining.tv